You see, what happened was I walked into Barnes & Noble to, you know, just look around, doing a little window shopping. Ooh, Star Trek. But then I walked around the corner and saw Raymond boxes. Ah! I absolutely love Raymond surprise boxes. The thing about these is if you can find a complete case, then you get the complete collection. But the case had to have been unopened. This looks like a complete case, but if you look closely, you can see there are two different types of boxes inside. So today we are looking at Sweets and Dream and Good Day Thomas Sweets. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes. Three of which are Good Day Thomas Sweets. These were $8.50 each. On the side of the box, you can see all of the items in the collection. That little cake stand is adorable! And the coffee with marshmallows and the macaron tower. On the other side, there's a cake, parfait, cookies with icing, and a roll cake. I'm really hoping that we get that little cake stand. So let's see what is inside. And... It's the parfait! It's not what I was hoping for, but it is still really cute. It comes with a glass for the parfait to fit inside of. There we go. And a little green plate. The box also includes a collector's guide that shows the whole collection. If you look closely, you can see little bananas on the side, a cherry, lots of whipped cream, and I think those are like brownies? There are three little Gude Tama faces. I love all of the detail. Let's see what's in this one. And we have, I think this is the cookies in the basket. Yep. Wow, that's a pretty nice basket. You can see a lot of texture all around it. There are three little cookies, two that are shaped like eggs and one that is a heart. Here is our last Gude Thomas Sweets box and our last chance to get the cake. What? A double? No. Yeah, this is what happens when you buy Remit blind boxes from a set that has already been opened. The Sweets and Dream surprise boxes are up next. We have six of those from an already opened case. Hopefully, there are no doubles. On the side of the box, we can see that this collection has a strawberry cupcake, apple cinnamon cake, cherry tart, grape jelly. On the other side, caramel nut cake, banana chocolate omelet, melon mousse, and strawberry dutch baby. And they are all themed around Cody Lakuma, and Rilakuma. I do apologize if I am totally destroying those names, but I am trying. Let's open our first one. And it is apple cinnamon cake. It comes with a large plate where we can display the cake. It's a giant apple sitting on a cake with little stars. Inside the box, it also comes with a collector's guide. Oh, I was hoping for like a placemat or something. In our second box, we have... This looks like the banana chocolate omelet. It has a pastel blue plate, a giant omelet with bananas and cream. There is chocolate drizzled on top. Here is Rilakma holding a small pitcher of chocolate. If you balance him just right, it looks like he's pouring the chocolate on the omelet. And there is a little leaf for decoration. Two down, four to go. And this one is grape jelly. I can't say that I've ever had a bowl of grape jelly before. I think it is so much fun how all of these little pieces fit together. We only have three boxes left, and I'm hoping for the caramel nut cake. That one looks really cute. And this is not the caramel nut cake. 
we have a large pink plate for a very large strawberry cupcake with cream on the outside and fresh strawberries on top. And this, oops, and this little guy is supposed to stand right on the edge. I keep dropping it. I know, I know, I know. Just two more to go. I'm still hoping for that caramel cake. And this is the strawberry Dutch baby. And it's really cool how everything can be removed from the little pan. Here is our very last box. And it is caramel cake, caramel cake, caramel cake. Yes! It comes with a large oval plate, a large slice of cake, and our two little friends. The cake is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. The sizes are a little large for our 10 to 12 inch dolls. No, they're not. I'll take it. Okay, okay, we can work with this. Plus, we already have a nice size remint collection. I just had an idea. Let's give our little doll bakery a makeover. Yeah, our bakery has seen better days. This craft is four years old. And from Darby Show and a lot of playing, it could use a little TLC. First thing we have to do is pack up all of the tiny accessories. I am storing them in individual bags because a lot of them have Mod Podge and we don't want them to stick. Remove the Valentine's Day decorations from Darby Show Puppy Love. We have to peel off all of these stickers. The wallpaper did not survive that. So let's go ahead and remove as much as we can. I'm also going to remove the shelving on the side. I want to open up this space. So I cut the bottom of the wall to turn our box room into a corner room. Draw a line to trim the wall down. Cut on the line drawn. Use the leftover cardboard to extend the floor. I'm using hot glue to glue it into place. So now the room is larger and lets in a lot more light. To smooth out the floor, cut poster board that is the same size. I want to change the color of the floor, so I glue down a light wood scrapbook paper. Let's cover the walls with a bright yellow. I take a good atomic blind bag, trace the image onto paper, color it, Glue it across the top for a Gudetama border. Glue the covered poster board into the room. Cut foam board. Glue it together to make a shelving unit. Glue it to the back wall. Make a second one. Glue thin strips of foam board around the windows, door, and the bottom of the walls for a little added dimension. This is the old display counter out of our bakery, and the top has come a little loose, so we're going to remove the top, cut two rectangles out of foam board. One is slightly larger than the other. Glue the smaller one on first, glue the larger one on top, cut foil scrapbook paper, glue it onto the sides, across the front, and the shelves. To make a shiny new display case, Take our beach chairs from a previous video, cut foam to fit on top, cover with fabric, glue the covered foam to the chair, wrap the back of the chair with fabric, repeat to make two. I got little Froggy this sushi key ring from Barnes & Noble. After opening it up to get the key ring, I noticed that the packaging could totally be used for a tabletop. So I cut a wooden dowel, glue it to a wooden cutout, glue the packaging on top for an instant table. On the front, remove the stickers. I'm using mood clue markers, which are liquid chalk markers, to write the Lazy Egg Cafe on the window. By using a chalk marker, I can change what it says whenever I like. And now we have a Gudetama inspired cafe where we can display our Remint collection. Yeah, I went to Barnes & Noble and picked up another one. I really want that cake stand. Ah, seriously. <laughs> oh no. Begin placing the goodies on the shelves. 
I'm using items from all of my different collections, so our cafe has a lot of options. I am trying again for that cake. Uh, well, it's some kind of cake. Oh, this is pretty cute on the counter. Use vinyl figures for decorations around the cafe. And we can use the card as a poster on the wall. Last one. And then I give up this. <laughs> I can only laugh. All I can do is laugh about this. <sighs> Completing our Gudetama inspired cafe. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Remit Blind Boxes and gave our doll bakery a little Gudetama makeover. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now. I told you if we dare.